I just figured out how to display search results. So I wanted to document that in case anyone else is trying to do it. Um, special thanks to Strange Tech for pointing me in the right direction when I got stuck. So I have a bunch of posts here that just say hello world in a bunch of different languages. Um, and so if we use a normal search URL, which is question mark s equals and then our search term, we'll say hello. Um, by default, the um, content slot will display just the content of the first post. Um, there's only one post that says hello world, but there's two posts here with, um, I don't know how to pronounce it, but hollow, H-A-L-L-O, -L -L -O, instead of H-E. So if we switch that out, um, it should, you would think, display two, but it displays one. Um, and that's coming from the uh, catch-all template, this slot content displays the content of the first post. Um, I imagine because there's no loop or anything. So what we want to do is if there's a search um, parameter, we want to loop through any search results. Um, so the first thing we'll do is we'll add a new section and give it the title search results and then in this container we're just going to display the search um, parameter so that we can make sure that we're we have the right um, data so it's url dot parameter dot s and then if we save that um, and go back to s, s, question mark, s. OK, we have our search result here. So if we change this to hello and enter, it will change. And then down here, it will keep, it'll still be showing the first, the content of the first result. Um, so now what we want to do is if we have a parameter, we want it to display search results. And if we don't have a parameter, we want to display the main. Um, normally, you would probably do this inside the main. In fact, we'll go ahead and just drag it in here. Can, there we go. OK. And then we'll put slot content in its um, in a condition. We'll put both of them in a condition, but we'll wrap in a condition. So now we want to say if um, URL parameters. So in this case, in the condition, you don't need the curly braces. So we're going to say if not URL parameter s. So if there's no URL parameter, display the slot. We're going to wrap this one also in a condition. This condition will be if URL parameter s. So if there is a URL parameter, we'll display this section. If there's not, we'll display the slot content. And if we hit save and refresh, now we should, since we have hello here, we should have hello here, but we should no longer have that. Perfect. OK, now what we need to do is start doing something with our parameter. So the first thing we'll do is um, add a loop. So here's our loop. And we want a new loop WP query. And let's see if we can name it, rename it search results. Maybe you can rename it, but if so, I am not sure how. So we're just going to go with new query 5 as, um, and we're going to change this to result. 
So now under query args, what we need to do is add s. So this is the query arg that tells uh, WordPress that what that we want to um, include a search in our query and our um, our variable that we're going to pass in will be search term comma. So then over here we need to pass search uh, term is our um, URL parameter URL dot parameter dot s and then just to check that we're getting what we want we'll say um, result dot title now if I did that we should see I will probably see the same thing no nope. oh, well the title so we have this which we don't want anymore and then we're seeing well we're seeing too many things let's get rid of this so we're, it's not getting confused result.title okay now let's come back it's for some reason finding oh <laughs> it's because of the text of these it's finding so these h a l l ones inside the text it says hello world is dutch dutch is so we're going to get rid of this so these don't show up so we can test easier one of these is actually supposed to be German but I don't remember which one so we're just gonna go back to um, we'll just say test and test okay now if we go back to our search results we should only see one hello world and if we switch it to hollow hello uh, we should see two so now we're seeing the titles like we wanted and if we delete our URL parameter we should go back to seeing just the blank page um, which is just the page content for this particular page Okay, I don't remember if I already had this open at the beginning of the video, so if I did, this is all just in the catch-all template. Um, now to make this look a little better, we'll go over to um, Sketch Framework, which is another project that I'm working on, and we want an article card. Um, and we'll just get something simple, grab the code, copy, and then instead of this result title in here, we can just paste this in, change article title to result.title, and change the image to result.featured image and if we did that right we should be able to if we now we have some search results we probably want our container to have well we'll do it the quick way and use a automatic CSS variable so we'll say dot grid three and there you have it search results
no search results. Um, if you have any questions, let me know.